You're watching the Kansas City Chiefs Report. I am your host, Harrison Graham, as we are live here on YouTube and on Rumble. And guys, I would ask that you would follow us on Rumble as we are now publishing videos over there. The more we grow over there, the more exclusive content we will be able to do as well. We've crossed 1,100 followers on Rumble, growing like crazy. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV is the place to go. If you want more Chiefs content, check us out on Rumble. All right, let's get into today's Chiefs rumors. Brandon Cooks, could the Chiefs be players for him? Could they trade for him? He is entering the final year of his deal with the Houston Texans. He continues to be connected to trade rumors. A lot of buzz over the past couple of days as uh, the Houston Texans have reportedly received calls on Brandon Cooks. And let's face it, if they don't trade him, Pretty good chance he's just going to walk in free agency anyway uh, next offseason because he'll be 30 years old, the Texans are rebuilding, and uh, he'll probably want to go to a contender. And with Brandon Cooks, you're talking about, I think, one of the more underrated players in the NFL. Since his rookie year in 2014, he's had 6,000-yard seasons in seven years. Outside of a down year in 2019, which he missed four games, by the way, had he played all 16, he might have pushed for 1,000 yards. Uh, this guy's been super consistent. You're talking about a guy that basically averages 1,100-something yards and, like, seven touchdowns. That's really, really good. That's, like, low-end wide receiver one, excellent wide receiver two. He's underrated, super underrated. Now, Brandon Cooks wouldn't be a full Tyreek Hill replacement, but you pair him with what you have at the wide receiver position, I think you're feeling a lot better uh, about that positional group. Now, there's a report out there that uh, the Texans want a second-round pick. I'm not sure... I'd give away that, but would I give up a third? I probably would for Brandon Cooks. Uh, you look at this depth chart, uh, Juju, Hardman, Valdez, Scantling, you add uh, Brandon Cooks, that is a lot of speed for those last three guys, Hardman, Valdez, Scantling, and Cooks. And then Juju's more of your possession guy. Uh, that's a pretty fun group, you know? It, it's no Tyree Kill, but again, uh, you could bring in Brandon Cooks for less money. Uh, after a trade, it then maybe you commit to an extension to lower his cap hit, and you can still go fill some other needs. So I'm very interested in Brandon Cooks for the right price. Uh, I've always thought he was an underrated and underappreciated player in the NFL, and he's still only 29. It's not like he's 32, 33. He's still got, I believe, two, three, four good years left. So what do you think? Should the Chiefs trade for Brandon Cooks? Type T for trade, type P for pass. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, Scroll on down, take advantage of it, type T for trade or type P for pass. All right, let's now react to Pro Football Focus's latest NFL mock draft. They went two rounds, and now that the Chiefs have four picks, uh, that's four players to uh, kind of dive into here. So we'll go pick by pick here. At round one, pick number 29, the Chiefs select Kyler Gordon, the cornerback, out of the University of Washington. And uh, corner, obviously a need. Washington has a couple of good ones in this class. Uh, McDuffie, who I think his first name is Trent. I'm draw Trent McDuffie, that's correct. And uh, Kyler Gordon. McDuffie, the better prospect, but he'll be off the board by then. Uh, McDuffie's a good player, though. Uh, had a couple of picks last year, seven pass breakups. Uh, or Gordon's a good player, excuse me. They both are good. But Gordon had seven pass breakups, two picks last year. He's not the best athlete or the fastest guy, but he's got good ball skills. He relies on technique since he doesn't have that premier speed for a corner, but his technique is good. I wonder if you could get him in the second round, uh, maybe at pick 50, could he be there? You know, a lot of you know, I've seen a lot of mocks where he's kind of in the late 30s, early 40s, so I don't know if he'd fall to 50, but I do wonder if 29's a bit early for a guy like Kyler Gordon. Uh, I'll be honest, I thought this mock draft was very bizarre in a uh, variety of ways, but I like the player, just don't know if uh, it's a little too early. I would say it is a bit too early, but uh, I think uh, he's actually similar to Traverius Ward in a lot of ways. Traverius Ward, not the fastest guy, but really good technique. Obviously, you got to replace Traverius Ward, and I think Kyler Gordon could help you do that. Uh, again, I just wonder if uh, there's better players at 29 that you could go out and get than a Kyler Gordon. So we'll see what happens. Like the player, don't love the value here in round one. Before we get to the next player here uh, on this PFF mock draft for Kansas City, help us out. We crossed 28,000 subscribers here on YouTube, trying to get to 29,000 ASAP. Would love to get there before the actual NFL draft. Just over 800 away, help us do that. Free videos on a daily basis. And if you want more Chiefs draft videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe right now. 
Let's go to our next pick here in this PFF mock draft. The Chiefs have back-to-back, -back, so at round one, pick number 30, Trey Von Walker, the edge out of Georgia. I'll be honest, this feels unrealistic. Most mock drafts have Walker going top 10. I've even seen the Lions take him at two in some mocks. So this PFF mock is wild, but hey, we're reacting to it, and let me just make this clear. If Walker's there at 30, hell yes, because I am a big fan of his game. Now, his raw stats aren't, you know, insane, but remember, Georgia's front seven, a lot of rotating in and out, especially on that defensive line. Six sacks, still a good number uh, for Trayvon Walker, but the reason he's getting top 10, top five buzz is because his testing at the NFL Combine was simply off the charts. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I think he ran a 4.51, the 40. His explosion drills were excellent as well. Uh, his tests were elite. That's why he's getting this, uh, you know, early round one buzz. That's why pick 30 feels very, very uh, unrealistic. But if he were there, you plug him in opposite of Frank Clark, uh, you need pass rushers. I think edge is the biggest need for Kansas City. Trayvon Walker would certainly help fill that void on this defense. Uh, I just don't think it's super realistic uh, that he's there at 30. So at 29, you got Kyler Gordon, who I felt like was slightly an early, too early of a pick. And then you got a guy who I thought should have been off the board way earlier, so maybe it evens out. Better pick, what do you guys think? Type KG for Kyler Gordon. Type TW for Trayvon Walker. I think the value for Walker is much better, so I'm typing TW. Down in the comment section, let us know what you guys think. All right, let's go to round two in this PFF mock draft. Logan Hall, the defensive lineman out of Houston. I think this is also another good value pick. He's been getting some round one buzz. I'm guessing he falls to early day two, uh, but number pick number 50, kind of the middle of the second round there, that's really good value for a guy who's a rising prospect. I mean, he's been moving up draft boards, had a strong senior bowl, uh, tested pretty well. Uh, also, I know this is a guy that Mel Kuyper really likes. Uh, he thinks he's first round pick worthy. Uh, look, he had six sacks last year as a guy who can play interior on a defensive line. He's up to 280 plus now, uh, so he can play inside, he can play edge. Uh, he's a guy that you can move around on a defensive line, and uh, I think Steve Spagnola would like that versatility in a guy like Logan Hall. I think the value at 50 would be tremendous. Um, so the last two picks, uh, you get two uh, good defensive linemen. I think that's pretty good for Kansas City uh, if you are Brett Veach. All right, last pick here, late in uh, round two, number 62 overall, Calvin Austin the third, the wide receiver out of Memphis. Now, small kid, 5'7", 173 pounds. 173 is fairly stocky for 5'7", but he's small. Like, he is very – he makes Tyreek Hill look like a giant. I mean, that's that's the, uh, the gap here uh, in size. It's that big of a difference. But – this is a guy who's been productive at Memphis and is really, really fast. You look at his numbers uh, the past couple of years, 11 games in 2020, had over 1,000 yards, almost 17 yards a catch, 11 touchdowns. Last year, uh, 74 for almost 1,200, eight uh, touchdowns, and then uh, 15 and a half yards per catch. He can give you some punch on special teams. This would be a fun player because I think you use him in a variety of ways as a gadget guy, as a punt returner, uh, a wide receiver, uh, jet sweeps. I think uh, he would give you some McColl Hardman uh, insurance if Hardman left in free agency after next season. Uh, he's the type of guy the Chiefs like. I think he'd be really fun here in this offense. I'm not sure where he would fit as a rookie. Is he wide receiver four slash gadget guy? That's kind of what I think he would probably be, but he'd be like, he would have a bigger impact than a standard wide receiver four. Like, he would get snaps on offense. He would be a return guy on special teams. Uh, and remember, you uh, – you lost Byron Pringle as your kick returner. Maybe he helps you in that area as well. So who is your favorite player in this year's NFL draft? Calvin Austin's a fun player. He's a, he's a fun guy to monitor on day two. Let us know who your favorite player is in this year's draft. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here on the Chiefs Report uh, as we continue to publish our videos uh, every single day here on YouTube. Also, check us out on Rumble. Give us a follow on Rumble. Uh, as well as we're publishing Chiefs content over there uh, as well. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV, Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV as well. More Chiefs news and rumors content on a daily basis here on the Chiefs Report.